I'm going to make a bold statement now. If you have smooth, non-carpeted floors, you absolutely need this vacuum cleaner. Like you, I thought it's an unnecessary luxury item. But then it came into my home, all beautiful and shiny, eager to start cleaning. I pressed start and off it went. My life was never the same again. There's no dirt or cat hair fluffies on the floor, ever. It starts by himself and returns to the charging station when it's finished, reaches all corners, tirelessly works for hours climbs over cables, doesn't enter the kitchen if I don't let him, entertains the cat, sometimes gets stuck. And this is really the only time you have to interact with it. Get it unstuck and clean the dirt reservoir every two to three days, if you have a cat. Otherwise, I guess it could go on for even longer. Let's take a look at how it actually works. The two little fans push the dirt inwards toward the main brush. You get two main brushes in the package one with bristles and a rubber one. I have noticed that the rubber one picks up cat hair and other dirt much better while not lifting too much dust in the air, so I prefer to use that one on a daily basis. All of the dirt gets sucked in into the dirt reservoir and filtered through three fine filters to keep all the dust in. Everything is also quite easy to disassemble and assemble if something gets stuck in the moving parts. <coughs> cat hair. The iLife Beetle A6 comes also with an invisible wall, which prevents the robot from entering forbidden rooms. The wall device gives off a specific infrared signal that lets the robotic vacuum cleaner know it shouldn't go there. This is the same technology that is used when the robot is returning home to his charging station. I've hidden the charging station under my shelf, and even though it's obstructed more than the instructions allow, Beetle still easily finds its way home every single time. And it's not an eyesore for me in the middle of the wall. You also get a remote control with which you control the direction of the beetle, different cleaning modes, for example, spot, corners or max power, set its schedule or send it back home. It's your tool of communication with the robotic cleaner. Now, a couple of words of caution. Beetle usually stops when it hits something, but just make sure it can't knock anything over because it does have quite some force and it could break something. If your apartment has a lot of dust, be aware that Beetle will lift it up, as every vacuum cleaner does. Try the rubber main brush, in my opinion, it gives off better results. If you have animals living in the same room as Beetle is operating, make sure you don't run it while you're not present. There has been numerous cases of animals having an accident and robotic cleaners smearing it all over the house. Be present, prevent it from happening. <laughs> With all that said, Beetle Robotic Cleaner will truly make your life easier and free your time for other important activities. It's one of those rare tech products that are in my daily use and I'm so thankful for them for making my life easier and not complicating it more. I cannot imagine my life without it anymore. If you would like to get back some of your cleaning time or know somebody who would greatly benefit from this household helper, there's the link in the description bar down below. You have a wide range of different robotic vacuum cleaners there. Some even have a mopping function, so do check them all out. Also, the prices might vary dramatically over time, so make sure you buy it while it's discounted. Thank you so much for returning to my channel and if you're a new person, please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video. See you soon, bye!